today the topic for discussion is uh, pedal edema so pedal edema is nothing but pedal means leg edema means swelling of the legs and uh, before we go into pedal edema we'll see what is actually edema edema is nothing but swelling of the particular part of the body it can affect a single part or there can be generalized involvement of the body when we talk about a particular part if it is involving only legs or maybe predominantly in the legs we call it as pedal edema when it is generalized we call it anasarka so there can be different causes uh, of this uh, edema so why edema happens we have blood vessels which are carrying blood into our body when there is extra vasodilation or leakage of uh, fluid from this into the spaces around the blood vessels that area swells up and we see that as swelling of the body this can happen because of local injury or inflammation because of either infection or injury or it can happen if you have low protein in the body and because of low protein the leakage of fluid is more into the area around the blood vessels and because of that this swelling can happen we'll see what are the common causes of uh, pedal edema so when we talk about pedal edema uh, the causes start from physiological causes like if somebody is very obese and uh, this can cause edema without any reason if somebody is having lot of uh, salt uh, intake then this can actually cause edema a lot of pain killer intake can cause fluid retention it can cause edema patients with uh, heart failure also can have edema in the or pedal edema in the legs patients with kidney failure so kidney failure one of the common presenting symptom is pedal edema patients who have any clot in the veins of the legs so when there is a clot the blood circulation is compromised because of stresses of blood there is increased pressure in the blood vessels that can cause leakage of fluid and that can cause edema now uh, uh, also if we are sitting for a longer time because the blood flow is from leg towards the heart and because of that uh, there will be congestion in the legs in the blood vessels and there will be leakage of fluid again which can cause edema we have to differentiate uh, what is causing edema and we have to evaluate for the cause of edema when we come to treatment of edema actually it again starts with what is the cause of edema so we have to do certain basic tests to understand what is the cause of edema and then lifestyle modification like we have to avoid sitting for a long time in a place if we are doing some uh, work which requires sitting for a long time we should take even breaks and we should uh, roam around in between our work also we have to reduce salt intake and uh, uh, also we have to uh, engage ourselves in uh, exercise when we are sleeping we usually advise the patient to raise the legs while sleeping so that whatever edema comes in legs uh, will redistribute to other part of the body and that can help in at least some symptomatic relief Uh, these are the general measures which we take for uh, all type of edema irrespective of the cause and uh, we also tell actually to reduce the painkiller intake painkillers not only affect kidney directly they can also cause salt retention and fluid retention in the body and they can cause edema when we come to specific treatment of edema we have to look for specific cause like if it is heart related we have to use a diuretic and we have to uh, give heart failure therapy so that heart function can improve and that can uh, help in edema uh, when we come to kidney failure or kidney related edema we have to look for uh, what is the problem in the kidney what is the lesion in the kidney if there is something which is causing protein leak and cause uh, that is causing the edema we have to give certain drugs to reduce the protein leak in urine that will help in improvement in edema in these patients so these are uh, uh, two causes which are related to heart failure and uh, kidney failure whereas if somebody has a clot in the vein because of dvt or because of infection in the leg clot has happened in one of the blood vessel which is carrying the blood then we have to treat the clot and treat the infection that will actually help in improvement of edema in these patients so uh, treatment of edema basically focusing first on these factors and then there are other common treatment which i already told in the beginning so this is what we all know about edema i hope uh, the understanding is clear in this lecture thank you